and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Tom Lux. We only played one Tom Kench Lux deck early on uh, right after uh, the release of the new expansion um, with Tom Lux coming out. And that one did have Tom Lux and, and um, Unyielding Spirit and it looked okay. But one thing that was missing from that deck, and I can't believe that we haven't played yet, was Detain. And so we haven't actually played a deck with Detain and Tom Kench yet. And so I wanted to fix that. So we're going to be trying this combo out today. Because, of course, Tom Kench wants you to capture three plus units um, to be able to uh, level up. And it, obviously it's, it's you know, creating these um, Acquire Taste that's using to um, capture units all the time. But I think we need some more ways for Tom Kench to be able to capture units. So we're going to be playing three Detain, three Mage Seeker Investigator. So we're going to be putting those together with the Tom Kench. We're still going on Yielding Spirit also. Lots and lots of Shadow Isles around these days. You know, Shadow Isles, Freljord, Control, where, un where they don't really have good answers for Unyielding Spirit. You know, they're using Ruination and Vengeance and things like that. So if you can get Unyielding Spirit on one of your units, that's a great way to win. So we're going three Unyielding Spirit to go along with the Detains. Also, that we have the detain purify combo, so we can detain things behind one of our followers and then silence our follower and they will not get their units back. So that's another option there. Then of course, going with Lux, going with Remembrance, going with some powerful Demacia cards alongside. So we're gonna have a, a control deck here with mostly Demacia, a little bit of Bilgewater for Tom Kench and for Salvage for some card draw. So let's see how it does. Let's see if we can get some leveled up Tom Kench, get some Unyielding Spirit on leveled up Tom Kench, and that should be pretty sweet. All right, so we're playing our five games over in Ranked, like we always do. Looks like we got some Scouts to start with. We, we are playing the three Radiant Guardians as well to help us out against Aggro. And then, of course, we have the Remembrances, which are good um, as well. Let's mulligan these two, keep these two. Keep the low-cost cards against the Aggro deck. Uh, Remembrance can get us Radiant Guardian at times if we're lucky. But I would definitely like to find to draw Remembrance. That's a card that we want to kind of have for our turn three play every game if we could if we could choose our turn three play every game. It's good to play Remembrance before playing Mage Seeker Investigator. All right, no Remembrance. Just pass. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. Denounce magic. I see all. I know what I'm doing. All right. My corn. Not mad at that. Man, if they don't have removal, if I could Unyielding Spirit, the Mage Seeker Persuader, and then it's just, you know, the 4-3 Challenger that can't take damage or die, that could be incredible. But obviously they could just have, like, single com like single combat would mess that up. I kind of want to go for it. Oh, let's do it. Worst thing that can happen is we lose the game. All right. Soldiers, to me! This right you can't outrun justice. So now we have the ability to detain things behind the Mage Seeker Persuader as well. <laughs> so that's gonna be really nice. And just every you know, both attacking and blocking can just kind of kill stuff all the time. The wood can't fight back, but I can. So detain costs five mana. Take that. That attacks for the most. We take nine. It's 
So I do kind of need... Like, to get Radiant Guardian in play, I kind of need to play, like, Bright Seal Protector, and then, like, attack with Bright Seal Protector, and they block. And it trades. And then I play Radiant Guardian. My shield is yours! Raise the banner! Lift our spirits! You have no alibi! Defend our banner! It's a good Ranger's Resolve. They should have unyielding, or they should have, sorry, misfortune. They should have misfortune this next turn, right? With me. Magic must be stopped before it's like, what's their Bilgewater card? Could go for like the unyielding spirit on the Radiant Guardian. Also, I kind of want to do that like on my turn, not right now. I want to be able to. Get rid of two other things, right? Have another blocker. These woods belong to have a detain for something else. Yeah, I hope they don't have Mega Rain. They do not. All right, GGs. Unyielding Spirit is really powerful. All right, another good matchup for Radiant Guardian. And also potentially a good Unyielding Spirit matchup, one that they won't have any answers for. The only card that I'm considering keeping here is the Mage Seeker Persuader. I guess we keep it because it's, you know, two drop. Okay, so we'll just be curving out into Radiant Guardian, it looks like. Let's get it, crew. Two, three, four, five. Hoping to have something die on at turn five, which turn five is going to be my attack turn. Um, alternatively, no, I don't. I don't think I play Remembrance next turn. I think I curve out with these things, with the Radiant Guardian and everything. Because this could also be me. Like, if I have Vanguard Sergeant die on turn four. I can play Remembrance on turn four instead of Tom Kench because I have the one extra spell mana. Discipline and steal. So like if this next turn, Sergeant dies the next turn, we can also play Remembrance and that could be pretty no nice. Pay. No pay. Can't imagine they block. That should just be three points, three free points. Don't believe my Vanguard Sergeant's gonna die. Captain's orders. I'll scrutinize something scrumptious. Appetizers of plenty. Not doing a good job having things die. Okay, no Noctrin Fervor. That's kind of good. Magic has no place here. Where there's a will, there's a meal. This doesn't change a damn thing between us. <laughs> if you insist. I can cast both of these, right? Yeah, it might go horribly wrong, but if we look at, like, what's going on here, you know, looking at, like, just what's going on here, this already looks like it can go, it can go horribly wrong. Yeah, in a perfect world, yeah, we had Unyielding Spear at the Tom Kench. 
first. I don't think there's anything else that they're playing besides Noxion Fervor that would have really stopped me. Okay. We're gonna send them all back. Let's look for Remembrance. Alright, pass turn. So if they have an aggressive hand, we're gonna be in a lot of trouble. If they, you know, just play like early Zed. In particular, this card, just early Zed attacking. Like my answer is, you know, like Bright Steel Protector in single combat. Not a good answer. Right now, we want to play a long game. We hope that they have like a long controlly hand. We want to play a long game. We each hold a world within. I am prepared. Fast turn. Will you comply, or are you complicit? Pass. No Zed, please. Well, at least it's not Zed. At least it's not Zed. Plenty of detains. This unfortunately is is just a hush deck. Speak. Say. Yeah, not really the kind of deck that I love playing against with Unyielding Spirit. You're covered. Go, floaty crystals. Shield up. All right, we'll have a lot of detains. They should have plenty of bastions and denies and stuff like that, but you know, hopefully we can fight through it. Again, unfortunately, they're a hush deck, and so that's a problem. <laughs> yeah. They may get surprised by the fourth gem, or the fourth detain. We are four of a kind. Probably better than they're three of a kind. I wish we had seven mana this next turn where we could play Detain and Single Combat. But we only have six. So worst case scenario is they have Hush. Suspicious. I should just block like this. In case of Hush. Well, let's see. So they'd have to... Because they're not going to have... They can have Deny plus Hush, right? Like, that's my worst, that's my nightmare, is Deny plus Hush. They can't have Deny plus Hush plus Pump Spell. As far as getting rid of my 3-3 goes. They could have Hush plus Pump Spell and get rid of it, and then they get their thing back, so maybe I shouldn't even be blocking. But no, then they wouldn't get their thing back, because they would Hush. I guess if they Hush first, and then I Detain...
All right, we'll lock away Zed. We'll play Sergeant. Ne next turn we have eight mana. Soldiers, to me. All right, so they're not getting another one because that was not the first thing they played this turn. So how do I win through deny? Like if they deny the detain, we have to block like this. If they have deny plus hush, then I have to fight here. But no, then that kills me. The reason to block the goat is because it kills me if they have deny. Um, but if they have, if they do have deny, I guess we die anyway, don't we? Yeah, we take exactly lethal. Yeah, so we we would still take lethal if they. I trust my instincts. So they, if they have another deny or back, if they have another deny, we lose. If they have a bastion, we can break that up with single combat. Why sacrifice the three three? Because I don't want this to die to hush. So hush plus pill cascade would do it. Um. Hopefully they didn't just draw Bastion. No, I don't have Bastion protection. That, that may be just be greedy. Maybe I should just let that die. I did open myself up to dying to Bastion with that. Breathe in, breathe out. All right, so one hush gone. There's always room for supper. There's always room for supper. Only four cards left. Don't really care about the gems. We'll head on over to my turn. Thank you. Let us peruse this establishment fair. Yeah, I've definitely seen people playing Bastion for sure. For sure possible. Let's do this. Let's see what they got. Get Pill Cascade. Hmm. Alright, with that being their answer, I'm going to single combat. Make them play something else. Nopeify. Mm, all right, single combat. The order. I should I should be passing. Maybe they go lock or maybe they go lease in and then like gem gem something kill me. I guess they can only play one gem. Still, I don't know. <laughs> what is Appetizers of plenty. It's just just going Lee Sin, Gem, bounce this, they get their Zed back. I don't know. I, I should have just should have just passed. Might as well cast Bright Seal Protector. Oh, that's right, Lee Sin's five mana now. Right. That's true. That's true. It's too late now. Chomp. The slow burn of the Tom Kench deck. I'm sure there's something for my tastes. Justice will be served. Yeah, they're in a tough spot because they can't play anything. So 
it's a pretty tough spot of not being able to play anything. Okay, I guess they'll play that. Eat it up. The spirit gives to those who listen. Eat him up. Hey, Vine. There we go, Tom Kench eating him up. Slowest animation. It's even slower than Riptide Rex. I fight with the dragon's fury. Extend your senses. Okay, okay. My cause is righteous. Yeah, should have single combat the eye. I got too overconfident here for sure. I guess I do this this right here during combat also. It's going to be difficult for them to play two spells with three mana. I want to do it during you know I don't want to like give them like the opportunity to play gems. I'll see this through. So I want to do it during combat. I don't want to like challenge first, then they play some gems, and then I, you know, like, anything like that. Alright, got that out of here. So they have to draw another Lee Sin and also um, something to counter my acquired taste, and I draw nothing. Well, I drew nothing. Now they have to have two out of three cards. They do not. Alright. Two and one. Achievement. Thank you. All right, we got Twisted Fate and Maokai. Usually you kind of see this kind of deck with like Twisted Fate Nautilus. Twisted Fate Maokai. Unyielding Spirit, Lux, those should be awesome. Definitely Unyielding Spirit, awesome. Probably Lux too. I hope we don't get ran over. I don't think we're going to get ran over though. You know, looking for Remembrance, of course. I think we'll have time to play Lux. Now, obviously we drew a second Lux, so I wish we didn't. I didn't keep the first. I feel pretty good about them playing a 1-4 as far as us not getting run over. 1 4, not too scary. Ugh, I don't like that. That's gonna run us over. Alright, you just get on out here. 3 2. Ooh, Thomas. <laughs> I like Tom Kench's little hat. Such a little hat for such a big head. Can you imagine wearing a hat like that size on, on your head? Like, comparatively? You know, that, that kind of hat, like a top hat, like that. Good. Get rid of the vengeance. Oh, I don't require a menu. Oh, I don't require a menu. Acquire taste. It's I kind of want to pass and try to unyielding spirit. Right, like that's that'd be nice to unyielding spirit this Tom Kench. They're just passing back over to me. Honor guide me. 
Guess I might as well get the attack in. These aisles will be cleansed. Ooh. Lock him up. Lock him up. Let us peruse this establishment fair. Wait. I have to do this correctly. Choose an ally, this. Capture a unit, this. There we go. Alright, so we'll detain our own 3-2. That will level up Tom Kench, which will obliterate the other things. All shall drown in my Unfortunately, I was one mana short of having Unyielding Spirit, which would have been the perfect answer to that vengeance. I was one mana short. At least they don't get their things back now. I'm just keeping my spell mana. We can do this. So they've used two, or they've gotten rid of two vengeance, right? Like one was obliterated or tossed. I really want to, do I want to purify this thing? Keep them from tossing too. Steel is yours. Oh. Okay. I wasn't expecting that block. Leveled up Tom Kench is so happy. Oh, looks like they're going hard. I'm really hoping not another vengeance. Hooray! They're not trying to go deep. This doesn't look like a. I mean, I guess like slaughter docks, but they're they're trying to t they're just trying to toss for Maokai. But Go Hard does give them more things to toss, I suppose, and it gives it gives them more cards to. I don't know. Maybe it's when you're tossing like this, it's maybe easier to draw the other Go Hards. I don't know. You can rifle through your deck faster, maybe. Or like there's less of a deck, so whenever you shuffle in extra copies, there's more. It's more likely a chance that you draw them. Because you toss all the rest of the cards out of your deck, so your deck's just like a bunch of go-hards. Yeah, now you go try to find him. Uh, the Sprayfin should have attacked. I'm planning on just using Purify on the Thorny Toad. It's really worth it or not, but we'll see. Yeah, it's a great one. I could get them obliterate for my Lux. What a great card from Unspeakable Horror. Man, Unspeakable. There's so many times I, I feel like I say that a couple of times every day of just, wow, Unspeakable Horror is amazing. 
Yeah, that, yeah, that could give my opponent an out to this. Hopefully not though, hopefully I didn't find one. Cool, so we're at four. So single combat will make Lux will give Lux six. Give me the stuff! Stuff makes happy! Wow. Unspeakable horror. What a card. What a card. The light of my star warms the heavens. The good news that probably means um that probably means no obliterate. few cards in the game that, that have randomness with them, but not not just a ton. But there are, there are definitely some. And this is one of them. I don't know if I want to use my Lux's Prismatic Barrier for that. Next turn, of course, I'm, I'm planning on casting four Demacia next turn, so this would be a 6-4 next turn. Attacking, so you know, like, we're, we're saving a 6-4. So I guess we have to do that. That's worse for my Lux, though, in, in, a, in a few ways, you know, like, we don't get, like, that three extra mana, we don't get any kind of bonus with the Lux, because the six mana was already going to create a final spark on its own. Magic corrupts Demacia from within. Your Demacia's nothing like what I know. Okay, so that's another get hard. You make sure they need to play three of them. Oh, it was an Equinox. Ooh, actually, so now I can play Salvage first. That's a great draw. We get a final spark. I need to make sure I know how this Get Hard card works for sure. Because I'm pretty. So they've cast two so far, right? No. Oh, I guess I, I tried to. I right clicked trying to make it larger. Once you've cast three, and then you... Okay, so they have to cast another one, and then pack your bags. So they can't just cast pack your bags immediately, and it's slow. Okay. So basically, I'm... I'm ask, I want to make sure that I can cast... That they just can't cast the pack your bags. And... I guess pack your bags would only kill this 6-4 badger bear. It wouldn't kill any of these others. Could have just had that ruination. That would have been bad. Mother Moon Veil. Now taking out the two blockers with the one health, so that we get three overwhelm damage a couple of times. My selection speaks for itself. I mean, might as well just do the two one over the the one one. That doesn't wouldn't make any sense to do the one one. So these are all lethal attackers. All right, GGs. Would it help if I apologized? I don't like this matchup. I know we won this matchup before, but I think we were pretty fortunate winning the matchup before. last three days we've only had one deck with a losing record that Callista deck from yesterday whenever I was just trying to do some janky Callista plus shipwreck order stuff 
over in Masters. That was the only deck with a losing record. All right, so I... Yeah, that... I hate that they have Zed on turn three. That's that's the worst thing for me. So I have to play Remembrance. I wasn't planning on playing Remembrance. I was probably just going to play like the Mage Seeker Investigator. But I wanted... Because I wanted to play Tom Kench uh, on turn four and then Unyielding Spirit on turn five. So I didn't want to use that mana. I don't know if they have Pale Cascade and they're just doing this and they're just messing or if they don't actually have Pale Cascade. Hopefully the answer is no and they pass. Yay, the answer is no and they pass. We can challenge, we can have Prismatic Barrier. All right, we're stunned. We'll play Thomas. A 2-6 also blocks Zed pretty well. We need more mana. Yep. <laughs> Alright. GG's. Maybe that's a good matchup. Who knows? I felt very confident about winning that one. Where we were. So there we go. Four and one. For our Tom Lux deck. This one felt pretty good. I mean, Detain looked awesome. Like, Detain with Tom Kench was awesome, but then also just like Detain with other things with Unyielding Spirit. Like, both Unyielding Spirit looked awesome, Detain looked awesome. Both of our champions were awesome with Tom Kench and Lux. You know, we have these Mage Seeker Investigators creating more Detains. This deck felt really good. I liked it. Um... Yeah, Tom Kench seems like a good a good thing against Lee Sin. Like they do have Nopify, they do have Deny, they do have Bastion, but it's turn after turn after turn that you're getting these acquired tastes, and they're not really playing removal for Tom Kench, right? So they have to get rid of them. You know, like it's hard to to have those counters all the time. So if you don't have Lee Sin doing its like challenge and and stuff like that, it seems pretty good. All right, so there we go. That's Tom Lux. Pretty sweet deck here. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments. I always love seeing those. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.